Okay, we're going to do Cancer. We're going to pour some energy for Cancer. Well, for Cancer reading. And this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. It could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is past, present, or near future, masculine and feminine energy, so you have to take what resonates and leave what does not. Queen of Swords is here. And then Temperance is here. And then King of Wands is here. So this could be, you could be in this Queen of Swords energy. You're someone that speaks the truth. You could have spoke the truth about a situation. And um, somebody wants to come towards you. This King of Wands, someone that has a lot of passion and attraction for you. They want to balance something out with this Temperance card being here. But it's like you're in this Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, Six of Wands is here. You're someone that's very intelligent. You're someone that's having victory and success. And um, this person see you in this Queen of Swords energy. You could have spoke the truth to this person. And this person holds you in high honor. They respect you. And then Three of Swords is here. This person is heartbroken. Something could have happened. They could be dealing with some type of depression. They're heartbroken over whatever decisions that they made. Yeah, Page of Wands is here. And then Eight of Pentacles. They want to communicate with you about something. This could be something about work. Or they want to work with you. They want to work something out with you. Five of Cups is here. And then Queen of Pentacles. This person is at the Five of Cups in regret about something. And then Queen of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this could be somebody that you cut off. Or you spoke the truth to this person about something. Queen of Swords. Yeah. And it's like this person is heartbroken. This person could be in regret because they didn't believe something you said, whatever you spoke the truth about with this uh, Five of Cups being here. So you could have spoke the truth to this person. And um, yeah, they're heartbroken because they didn't believe something you told them. And they could have went through karma. Judgment is here. Yeah. Ten of Wands in the reverse. So as I'm thinking, who is this Queen of Pentacles? Ten of Wands popped out in the reverse. So this could be you and this Queen of Pentacles energy. You're someone that works very hard. You're someone that's stable. You've been focusing on your health, your stability, and um, keeping yourself grounded. You're also someone that's very loyal. And you're someone that's not burdened. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, it's because you're someone that works hard. You're a hard worker. And they want to communicate with you something about work or they want to work with you doing something. Two of Swords is here. This almost popped out in the reverse. And then Seven of Cups is here. So this person was blinded to the truth about some type of confusion. Yeah, Ace of Cups and um, Four of Cups. This, this was somebody that was in love with you. And they were dealing with some type of insecurities. Yeah. You could have spoke the truth to this person about someone. And um, they're in regret. It's like they're in regret. They feel insecure. They feel rejected. And this person is in love with you. Yeah, this person could have been blinded from the truth. They weren't able to see properly about whatever you had told them, and they're in regret. They were confused. Seven of Cups is here. Ace of Cups and Four of Cups. Now they feel like that, you know, as they're in love with you, they, they're feeling insecure or feel like they'll be rejected by you. 
Yeah, Five of Pentacles is here. This is someone that feels left out in the cold. And then High Priestess is here. And then the devil. Okay, so whoever this person is that you spoke the truth about, this was something that was hidden. This person was someone that was very low vibrational. They were very toxic. They could have been in like a partnership with this person or they were working with this person or something like that. And this person had them blinded them from the truth and confused them, possibly to get this person to be attracted to them. But this was someone that was, you know, very toxic. The devil, this was a karmic soulmate that they were attached to. High priestess is here that was hidden. This is someone that was very low vibrational that they were supposed to leave out in the cold. They were supposed to reject this person. This person could have, uh, they feel rejected. If this person ghosted you or wanted you to feel left out in the cold or something because they were confused and blinded from the truth, they didn't believe something that you said. Now this person is in that energy. Because they were attached to the person that um, they were supposed to leave out in the cold. Or something like that. And this person is someone that was the devil. This person is toxic, a karmic soulmate. That they that you were trying to speak the truth about? Yeah. The hangman in the reverse. And then the strength card is here. The world is here. It's like you're someone that's enlightened and they didn't know. They didn't know you were woke. They didn't know whatever you spoke the truth about was, you know, something that you were trying to unblind them from this confusion because they were around someone that was very low vibrational and that was hidden. They didn't know this person was a karmic. They didn't know this person was a toxic um, soulmate. Yeah, this was somebody that was, you know, sent to this person by the devil and they didn't know they were attached to this person. Through a karmic soul contract. They were in a toxic cycle that needed to be completed so they can gain their strength back. This person was blinded from the truth for a long time and they were confused. Seven of Cups is here. Yeah, they look at you as someone that's very honest. You speak the truth. You cut off things that no longer serve purpose. And you're someone that's very intelligent. You could be this high priestess. You read energy. You're someone that's very gifted. You're like a psychic. And you could have read energy on this person in the past and they were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. They didn't know or couldn't, you know, see properly because they were being confused. And it's like whatever you spoke the truth about, you spoke the truth about this person um, lying to them or confusing them or something like that to get them to be attracted to them. And you spoke the truth about this person, this karmic. And they're in regret. Yeah. Because they didn't believe you. Now they feel like that you will reject them. Ten of Pentacles is here. And then the Musician is here. And then the Moon card is here. So whoever this energy is, this was somebody that... Um, they were playing with spell work like magic. Because they knew about this Ten of Pentacles. This could be someone that you're supposed to build this Ten of Pentacles with. That you have a future with. Whoever this energy is, they knew. They could have knew before you knew. They could have knew before you told that person. And um, you, when you told this person, they didn't believe you. Yeah, but the entire time this person was playing with spell work over them. That's why they were at the Seven of Cups confused. And they were blinded from the truth. It's like they could have went, some, went through some of the judgment because they didn't believe you. So it's like they were still learning lessons in a karmic cycle with this karmic, you know, soulmate that needed to be closed out so they can gain their strength back and get enlightened. Yeah. Because this person was in some type of confusion. They could have, you know, confused this person by putting something in their cup or something on their drugs or something like that. Yeah, to get this person to be attracted to them. Queen of Wands is here. Yeah, they could have knew that this person was attracted to you. King of Wands, Queen of Swords. Yeah, and they were playing with some type of magic to get this person to be attracted to them because they knew this person was attracted to you. 
And it's like you spoke the truth to this person. They were in regret. Now they see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. They have experienced some type of karma. Whatever this person did or whatever, um, you're not burdened or weighed down. Yeah, this person did something that was hidden. A lot of stuff that was hidden. They could have tried to do, yeah, Six of Cups is here. This person did a lot of stuff in the past that was hidden. They could have knew that you spoke the truth and they wanted to confuse this person more. They could have lied to this person and spread some type of lie on you. So they wouldn't get exposed for the spell work. Because this person possibly didn't know that people played with stuff like that to confuse them. They didn't know. And it could have been going on for a long time. Yeah, but some type of way, this person got enlightened. You helped this person end the cycle out. Because after you spoke the truth, it's like you started working on yourself, Eight of Pentacles, or working on whatever it is that you want out of life. And you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah, this person realized they were attached to a Five of Pentacles energy. And you exposed this. You knew this person's hidden secrets. This was someone that was very toxic, the devil. And they were placing magic over this person in hopes to get to this Ten of Pentacles that you and this person will build together or create. And they figure if they get this person to be attracted to them, they would be attached to this person. But this person could have, you know, cut this person off. King of Swords is here. They're in this King of Swords energy. Yeah. Page of Cups in the reverse and then the hair fight in the reverse. So this is someone that they, they if they were in a commitment with this person, they're not committed to this person or in some type of relationship with this person. And they weren't accepting this person's apology. If this person tried to apologize about something, they could have gotten exposed. Whatever they did that was hidden. If they tried to apologize, this person is not accepting that. And um, they don't trust this person. Hair fight in the reverse. Yeah, tower is here. Whoever this queen of wands is, they're going through a tower moment. This took this person through a drastic change when they found out that this person uh, did all of this because they knew that you and them had a ten of pentacles together. Yeah, they went through a tower. This took them through a drastic change. They're in this king of swords energy now. And you could have been in this queen of swords energy when you first found out. It's like you could have gotten spiritually woke. And you started speaking the truth, cutting off things that no longer serve purpose in your life. And this person was in this King of Wands energy at that time, holding you in high honor. They weren't woke. It was like they just had passion for you, attraction towards you, and they wanted to come towards you. But it's like once you start speaking the truth, this person, um, they weren't able to see properly. They were at the Two of Swords blinded from the truth for a long time, and they were confused. But once they found out the truth, they were in regret. Yeah, this person was at the Seven of Swords. They felt like this person literally set this all up. This person set up everything behind the scenes. And they thought that they had them, you know, they were smarter than you and this person because they were playing with spell work. And that was hidden. They knew this person didn't know anything about this. So they figure it's like if you spoke the truth to this person, this person didn't believe you. But it's like once they found out the truth, they were in regret. Now they feel like you're going to reject them if they come towards you because they're in love with you. Seven of Pentacles is here. And then Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's like this person wants to build something with you. Queen of Cups and uh, Seven of Pentacles. They're trying to strategize how can they come towards you because they want to build something with you. Nine of Swords and Two of Wands. Yeah, you're someone that's emotionally stable, emotionally balanced. This person could have been stressed out. Nine of Swords. They were having sleepless nights and that left them in a stalemate not knowing which direction to take because this person don't trust nobody. Hair fight in the reverse, page of cups in the reverse. They don't trust nobody.
somebody came in and spread some type of rumors and lies to have this person at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. They knew this person was um, admiring you. They knew this person had emotions for you, Queen of Cups. Yeah, and they knew this person wanted to invest in you. So it's like, or build something with you. So it's like whoever this Seven of Swords energy is, they snuck and told this person some Nine of Swords energy, like some lies or rumors or slander that was not true. Had this person at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. And then Eight of Wands. Now this person is out of that energy. They're ready to come towards you and they want to connect with you. This person wants to have an emotional conversation with you. They don't want to just sit back at the... Yeah, this Page of Cups in the reverse is like... Uh, they're no longer in this emotional, emotionally immature energy where they were just sitting behind the, behind the scenes, secretly admiring you, secretly attracted to you, and... Um, emotionally immature not knowing how to express their self it's like they're coming towards you yeah ten of cups is here they see you as their ultimate happiness the death card is here and then ace of swords is here this person went through a transformation when they gained truth and clarity about um this person playing with spell work over them this took them through a transformation Knight of Swords is here. And then King of Cups. Yeah, so it's like this person just wants to come in quick towards you. King of Knight of Swords, King of Cups, and Four of Wands. It's like this person just wants to dash in quick towards you. They want to come in union with you. It's like they could have found out you were their twin with this Four of Wands being here. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. And then Nine of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody was desperately behind the scenes trying to slow this person down. And they did this over and over again, trying to play some type of Knight of Wands spell over this person. Like sex magic. And they were, you know, they have been doing this in the past to get this person to be attracted to them, to have sex with them. Different stuff like that. And um, when this person went through a transformation and found out the truth, it's like they got guarded. Nine of Wands. With whoever this Nine of Wands energy is, which is this karmic soulmate. And then Nine of Pentacles is here. The Fool card is here. And then Page of Swords. So it's like they started watching this person or something like that because they knew this person would be coming towards you. They did something to distract this person. Four of Pentacles is here because this person was holding back. Yeah. It's like this person is sitting back watching this person. After this person got guarded from this Knight of Wands energy... They were sitting back watching this person. They could have knew this person was watching you. And then the Wheel of Fortune and Four of Pentacles. They were trying to hold on to this person. Because they thought they would be attached to this person's uh, Wheel of Fortune. That person could not get to their Wheel of Fortune. Until they left this person out in the cold. That's why they were just sitting back watching you. Whoever your twin is. They couldn't come towards you. Until they went through this transformation. And cleansed their self. And like healed. It's like this person needed to end a cycle out, take their gain, their strength back before even going towards a whole nother direction. Because whoever this person is, yeah, they needed to hold back from um, low vibrational energies before they can even get to their will, will of fortune. And these are people that were trying to hold on to this person because they knew they had a will of fortune. Yeah, Ace of Wands is here. Eight of Swords. So whatever this Knight of Pentacles is, because I keep asking, what is this Knight of Pentacles? This person is trying to hold on to you. This person could have got wrapped up in some type of situation because of this stalker. This person that uh, was playing with spell work over them. They could have tried to bind this person. And this person could have got wrapped up some type of way in this physical realm. And it's like they've been watching you. They know that, you know... 
they they've been watching you because they want to come towards you this person wants to take action towards you ace of wands and it's like they've been holding on to you because they know that you're destined to be with them you and this person have a destiny and a purpose together, but they got wrapped up in some type of situation, eight of swords, because this person would no longer have sex with them. Yeah, the chariot is here. And then the sun card is here. So, yeah, but this person, whatever this person was wrapped up in, they're moving forward. The sun card is here. They're seeing stuff for what it is. So if this person did something to try to trap this person or have this person stuck where they couldn't move or see properly. That didn't work. This person got exposed for whatever they did. Yeah, it backfired. Seven of Wands is here. They, they needed to block this person off. This person was creating blockages for them and they got exposed. Yeah, Two of Pentacles is here. Six of Swords and then the Empress is here. So it's like this person is coming towards you. The Empress and Six of Swords. And then King of Pentacles is here. Three of Cups. And then the Unknown card is here. So it's like this person is coming towards you. Yeah. Yeah. This person wants to come towards you before you move on to someone else. They're trying to figure out how can they balance this situation out. Two of Pentacles this year. They were feeling blocked off from you for a long time. is because they need to block off whoever this person is that was placing magic over them to have them at this Eight of Swords energy stuck. Yeah, they want to reconnect with you. Nine of Cups. I mean, Three of Cups. And then the Unknown card is here. Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords. And then the Star card is here. <laughs> this person wants to reconnect with you, but they don't want to be around. Yeah, Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. They want to reconnect with you. Three of Pentacles is here. They want to collaborate with you. Like, get in a relationship or something with you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like this person is trying to come towards you before anybody else come towards you. Because this is somebody you possibly haven't even heard from. And with this four swords and a star card being here, this person wants to get away. It's like they're coming towards you to balance the situation out. But they don't want, some, it's like if they reconcile with you, they don't want someone to know or they don't want to be around someone or something like that. They want to reconcile with you at a distance. Yeah, the Hermit is here. This person is trying to get away with you or something like that. And they want to reconnect with you, celebrate with you. Page of Pentacles, this person wants to give you something. This person could want to, to give you a small gesture or something like that. that. That's another thing that this Page of Pentacles could be. Eight of Cups in a reverse. Yeah. They don't want you to walk away and not look back. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. They realize they got betrayed. Yeah, they're lovers. They feel like both you and them got betrayed because y'all have a divine connection. Ten of Swords is here and then the lovers. And they don't want you to walk away from them and not look back. The Emperor in the reverse and then Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person has made a decision that they want to start over. Ace of Pentacles and then Three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. It's like this person wants to give you something. This could be commitment with this Ace of Pentacles popping out. Emperor in the reverse. Somebody attached to this person do not want this person to be to have control over their self. Yeah. They don't want this person to stand up and lead their own life. This could be someone that's manipulating this person. Yeah, they want this person to share their wealth with them or something like that. Six of Pentacles is here. And this could be, this literally could be multiple people. This person, if you're in a karmic cycle, it's just not one person. You have multiple people that's around you that are karmics. If you're not spiritually awake, 
you have not cleansed yourself, healed yourself, and you, you know, not protecting your energy or learning how to protect your energy and you're staying around these people, that's the only way that they have control. That's the only way they're able to keep you confused and manipulate you and have you blinded from the truth and constantly betray you and backstab you. It's like you stay under a curse and hex. Yeah. And it's like whoever this person is, they have multiple people around them. It wasn't just one person that was placing spell work over this person or didn't want this person to come towards you. They could have been under the impression it was just one person when it was it's multiple people in, in a karmic cycle. You just have to make sure that you know how to pr protect your energy. You are not letting people drain you and project their energy off onto you. And it's like um, setting boundaries as well, blocking different people off that no longer serve purpose in your life. Yeah, so it's like they didn't want this person to have control, the emperor in the reverse. Cancer is here. So this is cancer reading. They want to have you stuck. This could be somebody that's in this person's family as well. Jealous family members. This person could be an Aquarius. One of their family members or whoever was trying to have this person stuck. They could be an Aquarius. You have karmic friend here. So they were attached to a karmic friend. Jealous family members. These are people that are all karmics that are in this cycle with this person. And they were just thinking it was just one person. No. Almost everybody that you're attached to, they don't know that they're karmics. Yeah, you're protected. So whatever was being done behind the scenes, you're protected. If somebody was trying to play spell work over you to try to confuse you because they knew you and this person had a destiny and a purpose, you're protected. You already knew the truth. This person could have gotten some type of tarot card reading. And found out the truth, found out they were learning lessons. And they were experiencing bad karma as they were attached to these people. Yeah, this person had been in their emotions. This person had been emotional since they found out the truth. It's like you spoke the truth to this person and they didn't believe you. They had to go through some type of lessons in order to, you know, gain truth and clarity. And that person is emotional. They were emotional when they found this out. They felt like you and them were betrayed. Yeah, and it's like you're in the energy as you haven't spoke the truth. You're in this energy where you're you're receiving good karma. A lot of people are panicking, especially if they lied on you. They're panicking because this person is seeing seeing things for what it is. Yeah, karmic masculine, and then enlightenment. So this person have gotten woke. Financial axis here. And then karmic feminine. So it's like they were experiencing some type of financial lax. They could have been, as I said, whoever this karmic feminine is, as this multiple karmic feminine and masculine energies around this person in a karmic cycle, and they didn't know. This person was the reason why they were experiencing some type of financial lax. Different people that they were attached to that's at the five of pentacles and they're under a financial curse. As they're attached to them, they cannot manifest. Yeah, new love is here. And then regret. This person is in regret because these were a bunch of haters that sat behind the scenes and they tried to set something up to keep you and this person in separation. All because these are people that were envious. These are people that envied the connection. I'm going to pull some from the soul's journey because I, this one was a long one. Yeah, it says relationships is here. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So it's like you could have spoke the truth to this person and move forward. As this person was in a low vibrational energy, you were, you were attracting someone that, you know, is in your energy, high vibrational, woke, you know, able to read energy. You know how to set boundaries with different people. And you are only attracted to people that serve your higher good. And that's what had this person in regret. They felt low because they had passion for you, attraction for you, held you in high honor. But they didn't understand that they were blinded from the truth and confused. Yeah. Now this person do not want you to walk away and um, not look back or leave them behind. Yeah, perseverance is here. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So you're in this energy. You know you can do whatever you set your mind to. Yeah, judgment is here in discipline. This person was going through judgment. 
because they needed to discipline their self. They needed to learn lessons and they needed to get woke. This person needed to set boundaries because they were constantly going through judgment, constantly receiving karma because of the energies that they're attached to. Yeah, peace is here. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. This person needed to release negative energy because that's why you were in this temperance energy at peace. After you spoke the truth, you had to release negative energy. Yeah, including that person. If they were in negative energy as they were confused and attached to these people that were um, very low vibrational and blinding this person from the truth. Yeah. Changes here. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. This person needed to make a change. That's why this person went through this drastic change. So they could grow. So they could evolve. Yeah, they're realizing nothing can grow or, or they can't evolve without taking the steps their self. And doing the work. Yeah, in order to move forward, you only stay stuck if you let people keep you stuck. That's it. This person needed to make a move. These are people that don't want this person to have control over their self because they feel like they're going to have control over this Ten of Pentacles. This person is not even attached to their Ten of Pentacles. It's like these are people that are low vibrational, physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold on the knowledge, loss, yeah, purpose is here. I know what I am here to do. It's like you're someone that's walking in your purpose. You know what you're here to do. And you were speaking the truth to this person. Honesty is here. And it says that I can't, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So if they were lied to and blinded from the truth because you hadn't spoke the truth, it's like they don't even they don't trust nobody anymore. They only trust their self. They only, you know, accept the truth from their self. And that's their own intuition. This person needed to get woke and start using their own intuition. Yeah, trust is here. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. This person needed to cleanse their self, heal their self, get out of that low vibrational energy because they weren't, they were lost. They didn't have an intuition. These other people were draining this person and they were, you know, keeping this person attached to them. By trying to influence them and manipulate them. To have control over them. Yeah. And these are the people that they were trusting. People that were envious. People that were jealous. People that were knew about this connection. But wanted this person to be separated from you. Because they figured that they was going to have this person stand up pinnacles. Or you know have control over it. Like this person was a baby. And this is a grown up. These are people that don't even control their self. As they're at the five of pinnacles. And walking in devil energy. I'm so dumb. Yeah, freedom is here. This person needed to set their self free. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This person needed to set their self free so they could be happy. Because they can't trust anyone. Yeah, they needed to be by their self. Loneliness is here. Yeah, it says, I know that I am never alone. They need to get by their self so they can cleanse their self, heal their self, and be able to hear their intuition. Yeah, because it was being blocked off and they were being drained by a lot of people that were low vibrational and they did not know. And it's like now all this person sees is you. They're only attracted to people that serve their higher good. Relationships. Yeah, this person wants to come towards you. Growth is here. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. This person needed to build their self up in order to grow with this self-esteem and then growth. Yeah, they needed to build their self up in order to grow. Because they were around people that were just draining them and they were in, imagina in an imagination, in an illusion, in a confusion. Blinded from the truth for a long time and they didn't even know. 